Good evening, everyone. I am Kavya Bharotra from 7C, and I'm extremely delighted to speak about the conservation of the environment. As we all are aware and notified that the average temperature of the Earth has been rising rapidly from the past few years, resulting in the frequent heat waves, which is also a consequence of the hot and fury weather. Some of the other major and distinctive factors are the pollution of the water bodies and the extinction of the marine life accompanied with the wildlife. Some of the predicted and immediate causes of the attrition of the environment is the excessive emission of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere leading to the disturbance in the predefined composition of the air due to the greenhouse and other major gases, the ozone layer of the earth is also depriving, which stands an essential role in preventing the UV and the hazardous rays of the sun. All of this is triggering the deadly diseases to unleash like cancer, asthma and death due to heat waves and global warming. All of this is a consequence of the mankind's need and greed to live in an easier and effortless way. But bridging a gap between us and the environment can lead to a menacing future. In order to prevail a bright future for the upcoming generations, instead of the demolition, we are introduced to the Sustainable Development Goals by the United Nations, focusing on the 170 prominent goals and achievements for not only improving the environment, but society as well. These include zero hunger, equality, clean water and sanitation, life below water, and many more like these. There are also many movements initiated to prevent the massive cutdown of trees, saving the animals from being hunted, and also making people realize the importance of their environment. Some of these movements include the Chipka movement by Sindhala Ghagun and the Animal Rights Movement by the prestigious communities in the Western countries. Together, we can make an effort to not let the endeavors of some people for the sustainability of Earth go in vain. We are expected to hold hands together and prevent our mother earth from a catastrophe. As said by Mahatma Gandhi, earth gives a man enough to satisfy their needs but not their greed. We are expected to change our lifestyle and our mindset that harms the environment in any way. Since saving our mother earth is a collective responsibility, therefore, I am advising you all to follow the 170 combat actions suggested by the UN to save our planet Earth. Thank you and have a very great day.